am Jasmine from Oh Abode. I'm going to take you through all the different drill bits, what they're used for and how to change them. Drill bits from different brands will look a little bit different, but essentially they all have the same characteristics. But here you've got a masonry drill bit. Here you've got a wood drill bit with the pointy end. And here you've got your metal drill bit. Wood drill bits, which are fairly dirty because I use them quite often, will have a very sharp point at the end and have a silver sort of bladed edge. This is to cut through wood. These ones are masonry drill bits and they have a bit of a, a wide head. These are for boring holes into concrete, brick, stone, and other things like that. And these are your HSS bits, which are used for metal. In most kits, you will also find a countersink bit, which basically creates a bit of a dip for your screw head to sit in so it doesn't create a slight bump on your wood. You will also have your screw attachment. This is for when you need to get into sort of small nooks and crannies to get your screwdriver bit in. There are actually many other different types of drill bits you can get, so I will run you through them a little bit. These are tile bits, which are for brick, ceramic, tiles, etc. And they have an arrowhead point, which will help you cut through the tile or um, a piece of ceramic very easily without chipping. Ones that look like these are flat wood drill bits. They again bore huge holes through wood, um, plasterboard. Obviously you wouldn't use them on masonry or anything like that. Um, they have a sharp point to grab the wood and then they start chipping away with these little blades until you've cut the hole through. This also is a countersink bit. So I showed you one earlier, which looks like this. But if you want to drill a hole and countersink at the same time, this is the drill that you need. Essentially, obviously it drills the hole through the wood and then you've got sharp blades at the base which will cut the hole for the screw head to sit in snugly. If you're wanting to cut a piece out of wood, so like a little plug to then pop back in after you've put your screw in, this is a plug cutter. It has blades that are around the outside and will grip onto the piece of wood that you're cutting out for you to then pop it back in afterwards. So to train your drill bit, as we covered in the Tool 101 drill video, all you do is pop it in reverse, hold onto the chuck, which is the turning bit at the front, and press the trigger. Easiest way, very, very simple. And then to put it back in, all you do is pop your drill bit in, try and hold it centre and hold the chuck, and then pop it in forward, so you want to switch on the right and pull the trigger. So holding the chuck stops it from moving, and then just crank it shut, and it's done. The shank opens and closes to accommodate different sized drill bits. That's it open, and this is it closed. Okay, so these are the different bits you can use with wood. First, we've got the flat wood bit. You just poke the pointy end in the wood vertically, keep your finger on the trigger at steady speed, and it will bore a hole like that. Then you've got your wood drill bit. So this is a 10 mil. And again, you want to put your point in the center of where you want to drill. Steady speed. And there you've got your hole. So as you can see, I use a 10 mil drill bit to drill this hole. Now I want to plug it back up. So I'm gonna use my 10 mil plug and you want to do this out of a, a spare or scrap bit of wood. Give it a little wiggle. There you've got your plug and you pop it like so and then wood fill up it over the top. And you've got your two counter drill bits. You can drill a hole as well. So once you get to the end of the drill bit, you're going to push in a little bit further and you've got the hole for the screw to sit in. For this one, you create more of a cone shaped countersink. So Going for this hole here, you just want to pour in and then you've got your little disc for your screw to sit in. So that's the majority of the drill bits I have. So if you do have any questions about drill bits, aren't sure how to use them, make sure you drop me a DM and I will get back to you.